Robbery scene like something out of a movie. Guns drawn, people cowering to the floor, and suspects grabbing jewelry and cash fast. New at 6, Len Ramirez on how San Jose police caught the trio of thieves. Len? Well, the owner of this jewelry store in San Jose has been in business a very long time, and he knows the value of a good security system. So he invested heavily in cameras, not just inside the store here, but outside the store as well. That plus other cameras in the neighborhood seems to have been what led to the break in the case. What was a quiet Sunday afternoon turned into minutes of terror for two Plaza Jewelry employees. <laughs> Security footage shows two armed suspects bursting in, pointing handguns at the workers, smashing display cases, then taking jewelry and ransacking the cash registers. The male employee goes to his knees and keeps his hands up, and the female worker crouches behind a display case. The robbers threatening to kill the workers if they make a move. You come to work and... Uh, this just changes your life. Cesar Pascal has owned Plaza Jewelers for 45 years in San Jose. The female worker has been with him almost half that time, but not after this. She doesn't want to come back to work. And we can replace anything, but it's very hard to replace an employee like that. The robbers made off with $75,000 in cash and jewelry in the March 21st heist. But the whole thing was captured on Mr. Pascal's 25-camera security system, which not only showed the suspects' faces, but outside cameras showed what kind of car they were driving, which led to a license plate and ultimately the arrests of three suspects. It's good old-fashioned police work. The suspects were arrested in Sacramento, Elk Grove, and Santa Clara. Suspects Trotter and Prasad had outstanding warrants and are in custody. Ramitas made bail and was released. It, it is very concerning to us. Uh, it's not the first person that has been, you know, put right back out on the street. But it's not getting any easier for Mr. Pascal. One week after the robbery, he was burglarized at night. All these incidents that are happening in San Jose to the small, small businesses, we were to a point that uh, we're thinking of closing our doors. And San Jose police say that these same three suspects are believed to be connected to another similar robbery heist at a small jewelry store about five miles away from here, and that was three days before this robbery. Reporting live in San Jose, Len Ramirez, KPIX 5.